A whole lot of you folks are about to smack yourself in the forehead and go, well, of course it works like that because you already know the thing that I'm about to show you. But a whole lot of people are asking me this question. You're making the same mistake and I want to clear it up so that nobody can make this mistake. Hopefully ever again. Haha, <laughs> one can hope. Here's the mistake that you're making. You're trying to get bi-directional D-shot working. Uh, so you can do Betaflight's RPM filtering. And if you don't know what RPM filtering is, trust me, you want it. It makes your quad fly great. I have a tutorial about how to set up RPM filtering. When you're done watching this video, it's down in the video description and I'll show you the full way to set it up. But a whole lot of people aren't watching that tutorial because if you were watching it, you wouldn't be making this mistake. You go in and you're trying to just set up your ESCs, right? You're trying to doing whatever you do and you set the motor direction and you see the motor direction options are normal, reversed, bi-directional, bi-directional reverse. And you think, well, if I want to do bi-directional D-shot, then don't I want bi-directional motor direction? No, no, you do not. This bi-directional, actually, I just, I'm seeing this literally for the first time. They've actually, I don't know how long it's been like this. They changed it from just bi-directional to bi-directional 3D. And what that means is that that's where you flip the quadcopter upside down and fly it upside down like Zoe FPV does. She's a, one of the most prominent 3D pilots out there. If you want to fly upside down like Zoe FPV, you want bi-directional 3D or bi-directional 3D reversed. But if you just want to do normal flying like most people, you want reversed or normal. That is it. Now, like I said, there's a full tutorial for how to set up RPM filtering and bi-directional D-shot in the video description below. But the short version is that what you need to do is just enable bi-directional D-shot right here in the configuration tab. That's, well, there's more to it than that, but that's it. People see bi-directional here and they think the ESC also has to have bi-directional enabled. That is not true. As soon as you enable it here, if the ESC can support it, if it's got a firmware that supports bi-directional D-shot, then it will just immediately pick it up and everything will be fine. For, for full details, check out that tutorial in the video description. That's gonna do it for this video, short and sweet, and hopefully, like, it's just one of those things where as soon as I see like 10 people ask me the same question, then I'm just like, I gotta make a video about this. So if you already knew this and you're like, oh, who could be, who could not already know that? Well, actually a lot of people. And if you didn't already know this, now you do. You just want reversed or normal, that's it. Not bi-directional, unless you're trying to fly upside down like Zoe. Thanks for watching, happy flying.